Welcome to the SF Files. This is your host, Brother Spirit, and today we have the ever so deviant cuckle in the studio today. What's going on, dude? How you doing? What's going on? Not much, really, today. Um, had a day off. Did a little bit of cleaning, prepping mm. for Saturday, which is going to be my fiance's birthday. Nice. Other than that, nothing really. Still can't get you. Yeah, yeah, can't, yeah. Can't do it. I know. Can't do it. <laughs> only cool yeah. people allowed uh, your mama uh, what are you guys yeah, doing yeah she, she's coming oh okay <laughs> dick <laughs> what are you guys doing uh, I guess we're gonna have a few people over um, her dad has rented I guess a taco truck to come by and do tacos for us you fucking um, assholes <laughs> not me <laughs> I had nothing to do with the planning uh-huh. I uh-huh. kinda just provide the money <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> No, actually, you know what? Luckily for me, this time, I didn't really have to pay for much. So, eh, whatever. Okay. It is what it is. Right, right. Shit. What, what kind of tacos? What kind of tacos? I believe it's going to be fajitas, chicken, and pastor, if ah. I'm not mistaken. Ah, yep. man. Pastor. Oh, dude, I love that shit. <laughs> I know. So oh, my goodness. So good. Ah, so good. good. Ah. Especially, you know, the little... Onion, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of lime, salsita. Mm. Mm. Just Go make a plate and like put it outside the door. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just take I'll my plate and run off. Like a charity. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Man, shoot. I ain't got nothing going on, dude. Like mm. legit nothing. Just hanging back. I, I did get a, a paycheck in from my, my, my paid parental leave, so progress oh it's good it's looking better it's better so I mean, okay yeah yeah just just chilling back now um spending time with the family hanging out just are they gonna reimburse you for like the time that you use for your vacation that um, should have been covered by a uh, parental leave it, it should have been covered i don't 100 percent know yet but i mean i got something in you right so at least I'll, as long as I don't go, uh, you know, pay period without a paycheck, I'm good. I'm good. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so progress, progress. Yeah, well, I'm still sorting it out with them, but um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, that's what matters, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they probably heard me bitch last week, and they're like, oh, 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 we we better get on it, guys. We, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be on BB's bad side. Oh no, no, not at all, not at all. See, because um, mm-hmm. when you're on my bad side, there may or may not be weeks, months, 29 episodes worth of, um, oh, this, these fucking guys won't put, put us on a platform or, uh, you, know, just, yeah. just, you know, just weeks and months. Of, you know, I, I can complain. I can definitely complain. Yeah. I got a mouth. that will never be let go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, speaking mm. of, speaking of, there, there, there's an announcement yeah. I'd like to make. Yeah. I got word from the infamous Pandora. Ah. Ah, word, yes. Real, what, real what, news. What was the word? Word is we are now officially on Pandora. Ah, We're hey. on Pandora now. Hell yeah. Uh-huh, yep. I yep. was actually expecting you to say you're banned, but hey, <laughs> that's... <laughs> We're we're on Pandora, dude. Yeah, weeks, weeks. Congratulations! Oh yes, yes, yes. And now I don't know what I'm going to complain about. I need to find something. I need to find something to complain about because you know, it's. it's I, need, I mean, work is doing a pretty bang up job. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I, they're gonna they're gonna uh-huh, carry uh-huh. that mantle. They're gonna. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah Even when go. when they're doing good, you're gonna complain about them, right? <laughs> Of course, of course. Like these fucking guys are paying me everything they owe me, motherfuckers, man. Just... <laughs> Fuck them! How dare yeah, they do yeah. their jobs? Exactly, assholes, man. There you go. Nice. <laughs> nah, but yeah, man. Just, yeah. Twenty-nine episodes and finally yeah. on, huh? Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. That's you know, right. it was a uh, it was a long wait. I, I actually didn't expect to be get on there, but uh, we're on, mm. we're on. So. Call it a win. I'm, I'm going to take that W. Take it. Either they were listening and uh, reconsidered, or they haven't been listening and didn't hear it to the end. 
<laughs> until they start listening. They're like, hey, let's check out this new show. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> 29 <laughs> weeks in a row. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> and then they're going to kick us off. So <laughs> I'll expect a report when it happens. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll, don't worry. That will be announced. It'll be on the episode? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah I'll report it live. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, you know, just kind of been kicking back. Uh, again, yeah, spending time with the kids and watching a mm. crap ton of Christmas movies. It's that time. It's ah, that time of year. It is that time. Yeah, it's about time, you know, hot chocolate, Christmas lights come out, Christmas trees, gifts. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ha- have you put up your Christmas lights yet? Not a damn one. Not a- <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it will, oh. the, have, the date of recording today is we're, we're on the 1st. I got a Christmas tree mm. up. The wife okay. put up some that the, the the grass string looking thingy. What the fuck you call the, it? My, my fiance just told me what it is. Garland. Gar- yeah, that she crap. just told me earlier. Garland. <laughs> yeah. Garland. Okay. Right. That, I didn't know that thing mm-hmm. had a name. <laughs> yeah. 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 She put some of that up. You know, near the chimney area, and um, you yeah, know, it looks mm-hmm. nice. It looks cool. Um, yeah. I did mow the lawn earlier today, so mm. it is primed and ready for Christmas lights. To be put up, I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. Oh, okay. I was yeah. actually thinking you'd wait another week or two. You did last year. I mean, if I can, I will. But the wife mm-hmm. probably won't let me, especially now that I'm at home. So <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so yeah, it'll, it'll it'll probably be up tomorrow. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was forced to do so. I think the last week of November. The- mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, as soon as yeah. you ate the turkey, it was like, put the lights up. No, actually, I think it was the day before. I don't know where she got it. She found a shotgun somewhere and held me at gunpoint mm-hmm. as I put okay. them up, you know? Sounds a little mm-hmm. a little, a little forceful there. A little, a little bit. A little kinky. Oh, but okay. I wasn't supposed to say that, so. <laughs> uh, I don't know that kinky is where I would go with that. Uh, Maybe a little scary. Scary? I don't know. It seems like you did it. You're yeah. laughing now. You're, you're, you're smiling. You're laughing. You're Seems like you yeah, quite no. enjoyed that. Kinky cuckle. Gonna have to... She's not. <laughs> Gonna have to change that agent cuckle to kinky cuckle. Double K. Oh. <laughs> 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 Terrible. <laughs> oh, shit. But you got your, your Christmas lights up outside in the house and everything? Good to go? Yeah. Christmas tree's up. She did the same. The, the grass rope garland. Garland. Yeah. Got the lights outside. A little upset the other day because I did all the work and then one of the string of lights, like in the middle, it has a patch. It's just not turning on. I've changed mm. a few bulbs. Can't get it to light. That fucking now, blows. So I got a little got a little blank spot. Oof. That's probably going to stay that way for, for the rest of the year. 100%. <laughs> I, I do this. Now, I would. I would. Yeah, if she wants to change it, she could go ahead and do it, but I'm not getting back up on that ladder. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I did the heavy work. She could do the light stuff. All right. All right. What's, uh, what's next mm-hmm. on the agenda? Nothing really. I guess just sit back and watch some of them Christmas movies you mentioned. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what, what's on the list? What, what, do you, what do you watch? Is there like a, something you watch regularly, like every, on rotation yearly, or... You just, you know, whatever Netflix randomly shuffles for you. What's your what's your Christmas movie um, list? Normally, it's my fiance picking out the movies, but one that I absolutely have to watch every year is Arnold Schwarzenegger in yes. Jingle All the Way. I you already know it. As soon as you said every year, it's like oh oh oh, Jingle All the Way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to do it. Have to, man. That's it's that's, a Christmas classic, dude. It's for us. It is, anyways. It's you know, like it I talk one. about this movie with like friends from work, and they're like, Arnold Schwarzenegger did a Christmas movie. Like, you know, it's it, it, oh man. I, for us, like in our family household, like our mom, she loved Arnold Schwarzenegger. She loves him. Loves his movies, all the action movies, the you know mm. comedies that he did, and of course, Jingle All the Way. Fucking hilarious, dude. It's. So, so good. So good. 
Dude, it's, we reference that movie like year round. There, yeah. There's not a week yeah. that goes by we don't drop a reference. <laughs> of course, yeah. I've been, I, <laughs> I'll do it all the time here at home. When I yell at my kids, I'm like, put that cookie down! <laughs> <laughs> oh, one, arguably one of the best lines in the movie. <laughs> oh, that man. Shit. man. Fucking like, what, two, three weeks ago, you dropped the, ooh, poor baby. That was <laughs> in, <laughs> in our group chat. <laughs> I did, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, oh that was such a perfect time to drop it. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Yeah, oh, that, man. that's got to be like one of those guilty pleasure movies because it, it's not oh, one of the man. big major mainstream Christmas movies, you know. But it, it's definitely one on my list. Like, it's definitely. have to watch. It. Have to watch it. What about you? Something else that you watch annually? Home Alone. Have to watch Home Alone. <laughs> like, absolutely have to. One and two. I love them. I love one and two. It mm-hmm. gets questionable at three. And come See, to find out, there's mm-hmm. a fourth, there's a fifth, Ugh. and uh, then there's a sixth one that just released last year. Ugh. Have you seen Oh, that? you know what? I'm, I may remember hearing something about a, a sixth one. I don't think I ever watched past maybe the second one even. You know what? I, I actually just watched the third one this morning, mm-hmm. today. It's... Okay. Um, you know what they 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 try very hard. It's not the uh, Macaulay Culkin. He doesn't come back for the third one. It's a whole okay. new set of robbers, villains, whatever you want to call them. Okay. And they they try very very hard to recreate what the first two captured, but they just did, some something's just missing that they just don't they just don't hit the mark. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad movie, but it's not a good movie. Like like I laughed at a couple of scenes. But it, uh-huh. it's just not it's just not there, you know. But the fourth and fifth one, like I took a look at them, they're on the Disney Plus. I look at them and I'm like, what the fuck are these? They don't look even. They don't even look like the same kid from the third movie. So I don't mm-hmm. know what they're even about. I've never seen them. Probably one of the like <laughs> those low budget movies to kind of just push out just because. Yeah, probably. You know, they just oh, Home Alone. Let's pump out a movie. It'll it'll get views. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's, that's probably what it ended up being like. I look at the yeah. the yeah. I look at the trailer. Well, not even the trailer. I look, you know, where you hover over the movie and it shows you like the the description, a quick picture of it. Yeah, like it, it just I don't even want to watch them. I I might give mm. it a watch just because I've got the time right now, but it just the, I don't just don't feel like it. You know what I mean? H- however, the new mm. one that just came out last year, I did watch mm. that. I. Don't know if I'm going to add that to my yearly rotation. I might, I might just watch it again. But it it wasn't bad. It maybe hmm. I would say maybe a quick rating, a seven point five. Like I watched it, it was like okay, it wasn't horrible. But, but yeah, uh-huh. at the same time, it's not like I have to watch it. You know, it's yeah, it was okay. It had an interesting story. Just a quick see if you if it catches you any interest. Um. The villains, quote, villains in the movie aren't really villains. They're not even after the kid. The kid accidentally steals something from these two people. And the two people are trying to get this thing back from the kid. And the kid Uh thinks that the villains are after him. So it's just a big mix-up, a Mm. misunderstanding. The kid doesn't even know that he has this item, right? And they're just kind of just pitted against each other. And Mm. it's... It's kind of weird because you almost start to back up the villains of the movie. You're like, oh, man, these, why is this kid trying to fucking kill them? They just want the bag with their, their, with their belongings in it, <laughs> you know? So, I mean, it why is wouldn't kind of... you just say that, though? Like, <laughs> as a villain, why wouldn't you just be like, hey, you got my bag? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, well, you know, they got to make a movie <laughs> to bump it out. Yeah. So, uh, plot um, points, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but they do make, make a, a couple fun references. I mean, a couple of cool okay. fun references back to the original, which is kind of mm-hmm. cool. Kind of connects the movie into the, the Home Alone universe or whatever. So that was a cool little Easter egg. But uh, other than that, I mean, again, yeah, it was it was all right. It was so-so. That's cool. That sounds like a pretty good plot. It's pretty interesting. I might give it a watch. With that being said, it, it's a standalone movie. I don't have to watch like three, four to watch the fifth one, huh? Right, right, right. Yeah, it's standalone. You can just 
skip the crap ones and go straight to the number six. Yeah, I might give it a shot this year. Huh. Yeah, who knows? It, yeah, like I said, it's, I think it's worth a watch at least once. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to add it to my yearly rotation. Okay. All right, so here's the question for you. Yeah. Speaking on old versus new, what about the Grinch? The, 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 the. The Grinch! Have you watched the newest Grinch? The one, I think it's like a 3D animated one. What'd you think of that? Ah, you know what, man? That's 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 a tough one. Because, okay, well, I grew up on the cartoon, the classic, right? The 1950s Grinch. So I'm very familiar right. with that story. It was on my yearly rotation mm-hmm. until the live Jim Carrey version came out. Mm, and that was going to be my next point. Um, I'll still watch the cartoon one, the classic one, but just the other day, my wife was like, do you want to watch The Grinch? I'm like, ah, yeah, let's watch it. Which one do you want to watch? And she put, you know, uh, live Jim Carrey or Mm -hmm. the 3D Illumination one. She didn't give me the option for the cartoon one because she doesn't like it. It's too old for her taste. Yeah, she's not a fan. Yeah. I would have thought she would have loved it. I thought maybe she'd go back to the classic not, not not for the Grinch. She really likes the both version, both both the Illumination okay. and the Jim Carrey. But I picked Jim Carrey that movie, the live one. I think um, you know it's an early two thousands movie. The special effects aren't amazing, but what they did there, like, they pulled it off mm-hmm. pretty well. the The makeup mm-hmm. for the Who's, you know, they look pretty mm-hmm. good. The Grinch, they actually did a really good job with his facial expressions, like the way when yeah. he, you know he does that up close camera big evil grinch smile fucking uh-huh. great it looks fucking beautiful for an ugly ass face right like it looks great <laughs> um fun fact did you know that all of his facial expressions jim carrey did himself oh like, i believe that it. wasn't edited uh, like when he does the big evil grin and he has mm-hmm. like the eyebrows all the way down and the grin all the way up that was his actual face wow like that wasn't edited wow that's crazy that's a yeah. fucking good Grinch smile. That's that's <laughs> yeah. Um, and they took the original, you know, basis and and they they expanded on it. They added to it. Oh yeah. Maybe not my favorite, I guess, of that movie, but it, it extends it a little bit. It kind of gives them more mm-hmm. character. You know, it works. It's fine. Yeah. No, I, I think it's it's a really good movie. Mm-hmm. I think back in the day, I didn't like it as much, mostly because our little sister. <laughs> watched the shit out of the movie mm-hmm. like i mean day in day out we went through i think maybe four copies of the dvd because she just <laughs> had it on repeat like it literally burned a circle into the damn wow into the dvd you fucking red ring that shit <laughs> yeah she did <laughs> oh yeah but yeah same oh. same reason um yeah but as to why i, I was like oh the grinch again mm-hmm. but it really is a good movie and, you know, actually, I watched it, I think, last week, and I was really into it. And I was like, damn, I don't remember this movie being this good, or was it always this good? And I just fucking hated it because of her. And I, I oh. think it was the latter. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely that good. But, yeah, again, they, they kind of take the, the base and they just expand on it. And they really just work on the Grinch's character, just builds him up to the end, you know, just... He's an asshole, but he's not a complete horrible asshole, but he's still an asshole. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, yeah. they build him and build him and right to the peak where, you know, he just like, oh, it just releases and the heart grows or whatever. And, and mm-hmm. boom, he's a good guy now. No, it's great. It's a nice moment in the scene, you know? Yeah. And one of the things that I kind of noticed this last time watching it mm-hmm. was that even when his heart grows and all that, he's not like a super duper nice guy. Like, yeah, he's, you know, he's nice, but like... Mm-hmm. He's still a jerk, I guess you yeah. could say. You know, he's like like when the dog jumps on him and starts licking him, he's like, "All right, that's enough. Get off." You know, it's <laughs> kind of funny, but still shows that, you know, older side of him. Yeah. So, do you think you're going to let your kids watch the OG, like the cartoon, or are you going to start them off with Jim Carrey? Um, probably both, really. I I mm-hmm. you know, their kids, they'll probably like the cartoon. And mm-hmm. I mean, I'm gonna watch the live the Jim Carrey version regardless, so they're gonna end up watching it with me. Um, okay. The one that 
they will probably grow up on, unless another one comes out, is more than likely going to be that 3D one, the, the Illumination mm-hmm. version. Now, that one is definitely, in my opinion, the worst of the three. Yeah. It's just not... They, they did some interesting... It doesn't have the same charm. They, no, it doesn't. It, 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 how do I put it? I kind of feel like they were like, okay, we've seen angry, you know, pissed off asshole Grinch. Let's give mm-hmm. him a sad, depressed, anxiety Grinch. I'm like, mm-hmm. that's not a villain. That's not somebody that, you know, you build up to be the the, the good guy. You know, the, I don't know, man. It was... It was a different story. It was a different Grinch. It was a completely different vibe. It was... Yeah. It just didn't feel right to me, I guess. Yeah. And I mean, at that point, you might as well almost create a new character. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, they, they did do some cool stuff, like some of the um, the gadgets that he has. And I actually mm. did like the scenes where he's like, cr- you know, going through the night, stealing the stuff, like... It was some good stuff. The animation was clean. It looked nice. They even had a song that was made just for the Grinch. It was like in the opening. Um, mm-hmm. I think it was like a like a rap version of the original. He's a uh, mean one. Like you yeah. know that one, and which like I actually yeah yeah I kind of got stuck in my head a few times. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah, huh? but but still like it's just like I don't. I don't want to see a, a sad, depressed Grinch. I want to see an asshole Grinch. You know, <laughs> like yeah. That's, and maybe that's just me. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure a lot of younger people will be like, "Oh, the new one's the best one." I'm, I'm sure some people think that, and that's fine. But yeah. it's just just wasn't for me. Yeah, I mean, everybody has their own opinions. Doesn't matter if they're wrong or not. But you know, but they're wrong. <laughs> they're wrong. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, what, what do you think about that one though? It was one of those that. I watched it once, and after I watched it, I put it down and never picked it back up. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it another shot this year and see if I feel any different about it. I doubt it, but eh, we'll see. Right. Um, I did like the animation, though. Um, it was very clean, very smooth. I would have liked that type of animation with the original story. Okay. But then again, how many times can you remake the same story, you know? Yeah. So I kind of understand why they tried to change it up a little bit. But I feel like they changed it up too much. Yeah, maybe that's just me. Okay, that's fair to say. Yeah. All right, nice. Yeah. So speaking of old movies, if your wife doesn't like the OG Grinch, the cartoon, the fifties, mm-hmm. how does she feel about Peanuts, Charlie Brown? Ugh! You know what? Odd enough, she doesn't care for it. She was never really really a fan of Charlie Brown. She doesn't watch Peanuts. And, like, I I watched all those, you know, on on TV, all the specials, all that. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I mean, I I watch them. But I ain't gonna lie, they're not my favorite either. All the Peanuts, all the, you know, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, the Great Pumpkin, and the Christmas. And, I I mean, I'll watch them, but Uh they are not at the top of my list. You know, like, Mm -hmm. if... If I ran out of movies that I wanted to watch and, and it's still Christmas season, I'll throw it on. But it's okay. not like, you know, it's not going to beat out Jingle All The Way. No, <laughs> you know? no nothing is. <laughs> mm, I feel okay. like it's a little more nostalgic for me. Just having it on in the background, PBS, running it. I think like it was like back to back just all day, if I'm not mistaken. And... um I think last year, Apple bought out the entire Peanuts set of catalog. Huh. They bought out like the Thanksgiving one. They bought out like the Christmas one and the Halloween one, I think. <laughs> and for that year, they had it like, I think one weekend you could watch it for free without having the Apple subscription. Okay. But this year, they're not doing that. So if you want to watch them, you're going to have to pay that Apple subscription. Yeah. Wow. That's. Oh. Uh, well. Yeah. Apple's not getting my money. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> no, there's, man. Like, don't get me wrong. Apple makes some, you know, pretty good tech. But their service, their... Oh, man. I'm I'm not a big Apple fan. You know what, though? Yeah. I'm going I'm mm. I'm to I'm give you a reason. Maybe a reason to actually go ahead and pay a month's subscription. You can watch okay. Peanuts and... There's a new movie that just came out. 
Um, mm-hmm. It's called Spirited. Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell. Brand new, ah. just came out this year. And I actually watched it with the wife the other night. Uh-huh. And dude, it was actually really good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, she, she fucking loves Ryan Reynolds, right? Deadpool. Right. He's hilarious. But yeah. in this one, a nice change of pace. Ryan Reynolds isn't playing Deadpool. Hmm. He does that in a lot of his movies. He's just Deadpool, but in another, you know, another name. But he's yeah. playing the same character, give or take. Um, in right. this one, no, he's he's not doing that. He's actually he's, he's playing an asshole. He's he's <laughs> he's. Uh, okay, mm. let, me, let me give you a quick backstory. It's basically the uh, the Christmas Ghosts. You know that story, uh, Scrooge, mm-hmm. Humbug, all that shit. It's basically right. that, and Ryan Reynolds is being haunted by the ghosts. And Will Ferrell mm-hmm. is one of those ghosts. He's the the ghost of Christmas uh, Present. Okay. And um, it's a it's a modern take. It's it was a lot of fun. And the trailer doesn't show it, but the movie's a musical. I was very ah. shocked. Yeah, I was surprised, man. It's a musical, and I I didn't hate it. Um, I actually enjoyed all the songs. They were upbeat. They were fun. They were clever. The lyrics in these songs are fucking hilarious, dude. Like. <laughs> It's it's good. Trust me, dude. I think you'll if you watched it, I think you'd you'd have a good time with it. It's, ah, definitely something worth checking out then, huh? Yeah, definitely. It's I, I I'm talking it up. It it was it was mm. actually very good. Yeah. I quite enjoyed it. It has a really good twist. It's nice. It's very nice. Yeah. I might pick it up this weekend. I'll let you know how that goes. Nice, yeah. And you can check out your peanuts. All oh, right. Shit. So speaking of I guess new Christmas movies, have you checked out the Guardians of the Galaxy's Christmas special. We are looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that, Drax. If your voice is small and mousy, I think maybe he didn't hear you. Yes, I did. And, ah. uh, the, I liked it. I really mm-hmm. enjoyed that it was actually a short special. You know, right. like it wasn't a two hour, you know, movie thing, and it didn't have to be. It's just right. simple, it's fun. It's just a, you know, like a side story. It's not to be taken seriously. Mm-hmm. I think it was a good way for Marvel to end the year. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was, it was silly. It was, it was pretty, it had some good moments. It mm-hmm. dropped some new information on certain characters. It was, it was good. I liked it. Now, I'm assuming the new info that you're talking about is relating to Star Lord and somebody else. Yes, sir. Yep. Yep. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think they actually dropped that info at the end of Guardians Two. I think it was like a post credit or something of the sort. Hmm. Yeah. When they when they dropped that information in the special, I did question it. Is like, is this new? Did they say this in previous movies? Like, I I, mm-hmm. I sat there and, and I thought about it <laughs> like for for a while. Like, did they drop mm-hmm. this? Did it happen? If they did do something, I missed it and Google's wrong. Yeah, I, I think this is officially, I guess, new info. But I think what they did was like drop hints or maybe it was like a deleted scene or something of the sort. Because, yeah, I Googled it too. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what I read. But eh, maybe I read something that was someone who didn't know what they were talking about. It's possible. Yeah. Other than that, though, what, what did you think? What did you think of this special? I actually really liked it. Um, it was... Like you said, very fun. I think they did the right choice by making a lot of a lot of it like just really fun stuff that didn't have to be canon in the story. Yeah. And it was just I think a really much needed breath of fresh air. I did like how they made Mantis an actual fighter. Because in the comics yeah. she's supposed to be a badass. Mm-hmm. And they kind of showed that. I thought it was kind of funny that they they made Drax kind of bulletproof now. <laughs> um, I don't know they ever Literally. showed that. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. That dude was. <laughs> he's laughing. He's getting tickled. <laughs> dude, man, like Dave Batista. Of, of course, I'm always gonna know him as as the WWE wrestler. But he's a fucking hilarious right. actor. And his role with Drax, man, he's he's fucking great. I love him yeah. so much. It's pretty good. It's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. And then Kevin Bacon did a really good job in it. Yeah. Uh, I, I really liked his role, and I like that they kept him as Kevin Bacon and not a Marvel character. Yeah, and then I guess Yondu wasn't officially in it because you know Yondu's dead. 
spoilers right. if you haven't watched Guardian Soup, but whatever. <laughs> That's how old now. But uh, yeah, it kind of showed like a little bit more of a, his sentimental side from back in the day when Quill was a kid. For sure. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. And it was nice to hear his voice, you know, just yeah. come in. Like once he started talking in the beginning in the intro, I was like, oh, it's Merle. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> yeah but yeah he, like you said even though he's not he's his character is gone it was nice to to have him back at least for a flashback or two yeah it was cool um i like how they started it and i don't know if that i don't know if you caught it they played a smashing pumpkins christmas song i don't know if it's a new song or hmm. maybe they made it for that but yeah like I heard the voice, and I was like, oh, "Is that?" And I, I had to shazam it like as the movie was playing. I was like, "Is that Smashing Pumpkins?" Yeah, it was them. Oh wow! I, I completely yeah. missed it. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go I'll send back it to and... you after. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious now. So, which one that was? Yeah. Hmm. Is this new special making the yearly rotation for you? I'm. I might actually have to throw it in there. Really? I feel really? like it was. Yeah. I think it was, you know, it's a short 30-minute film. It was very fun. I felt like the Christmas spirit was hmm. captured in that 30 minutes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I, I might throw it in there. All right. Nice. It, it I, actually surprised me how good it was. I'm surprised to hear you say that. <laughs> as much as I yeah. liked it, I don't think I'm going to add it to my yearly rotations. Just, no? It's just not there in the, the Christmas sense, like. I don't know. It, mm-hmm. I, even though it is a Christmas special, I can't view it as just a Christmas, you know, mm-hmm. movie. I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll probably throw it on when I'm done watching the the other Christmas movies, like Home Alone, Jingle All the Way, yeah. all those, right? I'll, I, I might watch mm-hmm. it. But as far as, like, that permanent spot, I don't think so. I, I really did like it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. But, um, yeah. And so... For me, like I said, I I think they capture the Christmas spirit in there really well. I actually see it like when I was watching it, I almost forgot I was watching a Marvel movie. I almost forgot <laughs> it was Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought it was like straight Chris Pratt Christmas movie. Oh wow! Yeah. So let me oh. uh, jump. Let me jump ship here then, just to just to mix it up. One that does make my yearly, and the way I view like the. This, Guardians of the Galaxy is... Yeah, I'm going to put them like here in the middle, right? But like I'm going to go to the, okay. one of the bigger ones, Elf. Santa! Oh my God! Okay, like Elf is just one of those that does Christmas for me. It's just one of the better Will Ferrell movies, in my opinion. And I you know what? I, I feel like that's fair. I, I don't really play it on repeat. I think I've watched it like two times maybe. But... Man, just there's something about Will Ferrell. Um, <laughs> I'm not a big Will Ferrell guy. I know a lot of people love him. I might get some hate on this, but Will Ferrell can be too much Will Ferrell. I mean, I feel like he's overboard sometimes. You know, I, I kind of have a similar opinion. Like, I, I've said it for years. I know I, I've said this to you guys, but like, I don't really see Will Ferrell as a leading guy. Mm -hmm. Whenever he does a leading role in movies, he just doesn't do it for me. Like, a lot of those movies, they're just not one of my favorites, or or, you know, they don't make my top Will Ferrell movies, and my top Will Ferrell movies are going to be the ones where he plays off of somebody else. When he's Mm -hmm. He's in a comedic role with um, I forget that dude's name, but um, Mark Wahlberg. I'm sorry? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say Mark Wahlberg. Oh. <laughs> Daddy's Home. Yeah. They love that. See, something like that. Daddy's Home. They, those two guys, they got that banter. They're completely different people. It's entertaining. It's hilarious. Or like yep. when they do Step Brothers. Two guys mm-hmm. that are similar. This just all the chaos. I think that shit's fucking hilarious. Like, yeah, um, I feel very much the same way. Or when he's even playing supporting roles. Smaller supporting roles. Old school. Mm-hmm. He steals the show okay. in old school. He's, he's fucking great in that. Frank the Tank? Ah, oh, man, dude. And, and uh, Jane Son of Bob Strike Back. Dude, he's oh, he's yeah. the fucking wildlife <laughs> yeah. marshal. He's so <laughs> yeah. stupid, but he's fucking hilarious. Like, yeah. 
I don't know what it is. Ma, the meatloaf! I actually feel it's almost like that because he's too much. So when you put him like on a back burner, mm-hmm. he's still shining so bright, but it's not, the focus isn't all on him, you know? Okay. So I, maybe that's what it could be, in my opinion. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. But yeah, an elf, though, I think that's, for me anyways, one of the better mm-hmm. Wolf Air movies and one of the better Christmas movies as well. It's just all about Christmas. He's a fucking elf, right? Like, yeah. it's the embodiment of Christmas. It's it's just a good movie. Plus, a chick, Zoe Deschanel, the, the, she's fucking hot, dude. She's she's fucking hot. I love her and everything <laughs> she's in, man. <laughs> she doesn't yeah, have she's to talk. funny. Yeah. No, she doesn't even have to talk. No. <laughs> just like <just eye> candy. <laughs> Yeah, but she's. Mm, mm. But she can sing though. Yeah. She's got some lungs on her. She's, she's good. She's. Yeah, she I, think, I actually she's think funny. she's. I think she's actually in a band or something, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Um. But yeah, no, she she's really funny. I think she's a really good actress too. For sure. Just Elf is not really one of my go tos. If All it's right. on in the background, I'll watch it. But I'm probably not going to seek it out. You know. All right. Well, all right. So, what would you seek out? What What else is on your list? What's on the to watch list? To watch list. Um, have you seen Four Christmases, the one with Vince Vaughn and who is his wife? I I don't remember who who his wife is, but it's you know they both come from like divorced families, and they met in a club, like at a Christmas party or something like that, like years ago, and they've been together for like five or ten years or something mm-hmm. of the sort, and he is not showing any sign of commitment as like he doesn't want to get married or anything and it's called for christmases because he they're visiting her mom and her dad who are divorced and then they go to his mom and his dad's christmas and they're divorced so it's for christmases ah you can do math now hey hey. no but (laughs) yeah (laughs) terrible (laughs) anyways yeah it's a really fun movie so much shit that happens in it it's ridiculous, but it's so funny. It keeps you on your toes all, at all times. It's it's a hilarious movie. It is. It is. It's yeah. It's definitely um, on the misses. My, my wife's uh, watch list. Absolutely. Um, I end up watching it every uh, year. It, it's not. I I don't think I would personally seek it out. But once it's on, it's like, oh, let me let me sit down and watch this. <laughs> like because you're yeah. right. It is. It is a good movie. It, you know, it sucks you in. It's very entertaining all the way through. It's it's a good Christmas movie all around. Yeah. It's actually one of those, like, I didn't realize how good it is until, like, it comes on. And it was a couple years ago, I think, that, like, I just, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me throw it on the list for, like, an annual watch. Like, I'll watch it once every year or something. <laughs> just because of how good it is. Like, I forget every time just how good it is until I watch it again. For sure, yeah. It's just one of those, I, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to head and shit on myself. I kind of view Vince Vaughn the same as as Will Ferrell, like mm. not the lead guy, but when he's got that supporting cast with him, someone that he can play off of, I, he he makes some really good stuff as well. Yeah, just, I can see that. But yeah, Four Christmases, yeah, definitely. I'm um, gonna check that out this year as well. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and actually, a quick little thing I noticed when I watched it this year, because I've already watched it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, something I hadn't picked up on before when they go visit his dad and his two brothers, which are like cage fighters, they're like MMA fighters or whatever the mm. fuck they are. Yeah. Um, one of the brothers is actually Happy from Spider Man and Iron Man. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot yeah, about that. I never noticed that. I was looking at him and I was like, "Bro, I know who this is." <laughs> <laughs> he's young. He's fit. Uh-huh. He was buff, man. He was. He was. Yeah, he was jacked. Built. Yeah. Oh, hey. speaking of Jack, dude, Groot in the Christmas special oh, was Jack. Yeah. He was huge, dude. Yeah, like his previous incarnation, I guess, uh, in the first Guardians, he was tall, but mm-hmm. he's growing like width wise this time. Yeah, like, he's, he's jacked. A, he's a fucking rock. He's, 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 he's not like a, like he used to be an oak tree. He's like a fucking redwood now. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. All yeah. right. No. Yeah. Vince Vaughn can be a little overbearing too, or uh, overpowering, I guess you could say. So, I guess now that I've mentioned happy, mm-hmm. someone who's always happy-go-lucky, Tim Allen, 
And you know who Tim Allen plays? (laughs) 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 What was that? That was a dog. It was a dog. (laughs) What dog? Scooby? (laughs) All right. Yeah. Tim Allen plays the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Arguably, arguably one of the best. That uh, to me, dude. That that those, you know what? Let, let me let me let me back it up. Let me back it up. Mm-hmm. The Santa Claus one and two, yeah, absolutely have to be at the top of my list. They're those I cannot skip those. And you know what? I was actually in here editing the other day, and I go mm-hmm. out there, and my wife was watching the Santa Claus, the first one, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I just kind of stood there, ended up watching like 20 minutes of it. They're like, oh, I gotta go. I gotta I gotta go back to work and you know, <laughs> do this and that. And then a couple of days later, she was taking mm-hmm. a nap with uh, with the newborn, mm-hmm. and I was like, "I didn't get to see the whole movie. I'm gonna watch uh-huh. it." <laughs> and I I hardly ever do that, dude. Like, yeah, she watches something already without me. Like, I'm not gonna bother to watch it, but I I had to. I had to. I have to get my fix, man. <laughs> it's a good movie. The first one. It's yeah, yeah. It's it's top for me. One of the best. Yeah. I yeah, think, I, uh, I definitely agree. It's um, it's definitely up there. Mm-hmm. Um, to me, I'd say maybe top five for Christmas movies. No, yeah, I'd say so. It's yeah, um, yeah. it's different. Um, it's set in realism. You know, like mm-hmm. yeah, it's very grounded. And for a Christmas movie, I guess for it to be that fine line between fantasy and realism, it does a really good job of balancing, and uh, it just works. It's a really good movie. Um. I well, yeah, because I mean, yeah, because every Christmas movie is, oh, we're a happy couple, or you know, oh, we're mm-hmm. we're so happy and blah blah blah. But yeah. in this one, Tim Allen is a guy who's you know struggling with family. He has you know work. He's you know living life. He's an mm-hmm. actual life. It's not a a fantasy kind of life. Yeah. And. By chance, he ends up having to be Santa Claus, and I mean, it works really well. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess maybe because he's like an everyday working type of guy. It's relatable. You know, yeah. He, yeah, it's more relatable. Yeah. The second one, they kind of go a little more into the fantasy because he's already Santa Claus. You know, they kind of cross that line. And understandable mm-hmm. in in the timeline of these movies, it works. Mm-hmm. It's it's still very good. It's more again. It's more fantasy. It's more happy go lucky, but mm-hmm. it's still very good. Very good movie, which I do enjoy and is also on my yearly rotation. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this: mm. There are always arguments about certain movies and whether they are Christmas movies or not. Mm-hmm. For example, Edward Scissorhands. Ooh. Would you consider that a Christmas movie? That is arguably a Christmas movie, but it's not. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's a tough one, man. It's because we do watch that yearly on rotation, but usually it's right around Halloween time, mm-hmm. and also sometimes after Halloween but not quite in that Christmas season. <laughs> it's kind of that right. in between. You know, it, it's, it's got a nice story. It's very Christmassy. It's got a Christmassy feel. And right. then, of course, towards the end, it's Christmas season, and you know he's mm-hmm. chopping up that ice and he's making it snow and this and that. And it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it, is, it is a nice scenery, right? Like, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's nice. I do mm-hmm. enjoy watching it. I don't know if I would call it a Christmas movie. Okay. And why would you say it's not? It just has really nothing to do with Christmas. It's more of a love story between Edward and, and the girl, which I forgot her name. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's more of a love story and it's a story about mystery. It's about the fucking Edward, you know, being put into a new setting that he's not familiar with. And it's about the people adjusting to him. It's not really mm-hmm. about Christmas. You know, it's just kind of happens to be set during Christmas at a certain point in the movie. Okay. Yeah. And that's fair. I, I feel the same way. Mm-hmm. Would you give the same argument about The Nightmare Before Christmas? Because it, 
has just about everything to do with Christmas. It even has the word Christmas in the title. That is true. And that one, oh, you know what that? I, <clears throat> that's even tougher to say, really. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say it's very similarly to Edward Scissorhands. Mm -hmm. I think it's more of a Halloween movie. Okay. But at the same time, uh, yeah, it's a tough one, man. It's because it is Halloween characters and they're trying to do mm -hmm. Christmas stuff. And I mean, mm -hmm. the whole movie revolves around the idea of Christmas, but it's not a Christmas movie. But it's not a Halloween movie either. It's it's a weird one, man. It's a weird one. Yeah. I, I don't know. What do you think? I'm not to, sure what the answer to is. To me, I think they're almost interchangeable. Um, just because they do Christmas. He dresses up as Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes out on his slave little skeleton deer and all that. Yeah. Um, he does Christmas. Although it doesn't turn out well for him. In the end, Santa Claus does go and deliver all the proper presents. So it's almost interchangeable for me. I feel like you can watch it Christmas time and, or you could watch it Halloween time. I'm sure there's people out there that watch it both seasons. Yeah, that that's definitely that's that's in this household right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the Mrs. She loves that movie, so it gets a couple watches a year for sure. Yeah. Yeah, see, for me, though, I think in this house, at least, I think we watch it more towards Halloween season. Nice, nice. Okay. Here, here's one that um, I just watched it, and um, I, it's one of those. And so let me ask you. Okay. Gremlins. Is that a Christmas movie? That's a good one. <laughs> because the kid does get the Gremlins as a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. Um, but that oh, man, <laughs> I'm almost gonna have to say it's not. I think it's, I think that's really the only reference that they make to Christmas. So, I mean, I know it's set like on Christmas night, I think, or something of the sort. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to say no, just because there's not enough Christmas in it. <laughs> uh, just like how you would say, you know. People would argue that um, Die Hard is a Christmas movie because it's set on Christmas Eve or whatever. <laughs> die Hard, Die Hard, Die Hard! I mean, that's the only thing Christmas about it, you know? Yeah, it has absolutely nothing to do with Christmas. Die Hard and Gremlins. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to say no to both of them. They're just... They're, they're set during Christmas time. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with Christmas. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna give it a, a no go no for go. both of them. All right, same. There you same go, here. people. If you, if you're gonna debate, you you now have your answer. They're not Christmas movies. Stop <laughs> saying they are. I changed my mind. You know what? This one might be a little before your time, but me and Josie, <laughs> we had this on our yearly rotation for a long, long time. We used to watch Ernest Saves Christmas. Ho ho ho, Vern! Merry. Every year. And um, as soon as I started living with my now wife, mm -hmm. it kind of stopped. She watched it once and she's like, oh, I hate this movie. Dude. <laughs> so <laughs> it's by no means a great movie. It's mm. I think it's more nostalgic for me. That Ernest character. I kind of grew up watching a shit ton of his movies. And I, th I think, yeah, for me, it's more of a nostalgic thing. And I do still find it funny. There's certain mm -hmm. things in that movie that other comedies in that genre just they just don't do. And I do find it funny. I do like it, just mm -hmm. not on my yearly rotation um, anymore. What about you? Have you ever seen it? I'm, I don't even know if you have. No, that that is before my time. I'm not an old fart. Mom. Sorry. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Dick. Did you say something? Yeah, no, nothing. 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 Oh, Go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that is before my time. Something I don't think I'm even familiar with. Um, I don't know. I'm probably I, I could tell you I'm going to check it out, but I'm actually not. I'll send so. you a trailer, and then you can thumbs down it because <laughs> the yeah. trailer's probably not great. It's 
but I love it. It's whatever. So. Yeah, no, it's probably not ever going to be played in this household, so <laughs> don't ever mention it to me again. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> all right, dude. So from all the Christmas movies we've talked about today, what mm-hmm. would you say are your top three? Top three. Um, in no particular order, I'm going to go with The Santa Claus, first one, Home Alone 2, and okay. um, in just my, just my one of my personal favorites, it's not going to be on everyone's list, Jingle All the Way, I have to have it, dude. Jingle yeah. All the Way, yeah. I want to throw me- way. memorable mention, The Grinch, Jim Carrey, but top three, yeah, I'm lock it in. Got to have those. Absolutely have to. All right, all right. So How are you? My top three, I'm going to put Jingle All the Way first. No particular order. Okay. Jingle All the Way. Going to make sure I have that in there. Got to have it. I'm going to say, for me, it might be Home Alone, the first one. Okay. Nice. And I might throw in, I might say The Grinch over The Santa Claus. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Jim Carrey, right? Jim Carrey, yeah. Okay. Okay. Scott, yeah, Scott, yeah. Okay. Cause I you know, the Santa Claus is good, but I think I find myself watching the Grinch more often than Santa Claus. Mm, mm. Thanks, sister. Yeah, but right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, no, Santa Claus definitely almost made it in. It's yeah, yeah it's yeah. A, it's definitely a top it gets crowded up at the top. It gets up there. It's um Yeah. It's it's a tough one to choose just three, but I mean if if I had to go, I think those would be the way. This is the way. <laughs> that is the jingle all the way. Ah, you lame ass. <laughs> right on, dude. Well, dude, thank you for joining me. That was fun. We had a, a, had a good time going over the different movies and different genres and just going over which is which which ones are your favorite, which ones you have to watch, which ones can get the pass. Um, you know, it's a good time. Hopefully, you know, we throw out some good movies for everyone to watch, you know, throughout the month. Um, give us some options, you know, at least what our personal favorites are. With that being said, come check us out at www.thesafiles.com. We got 29 episodes now, completely different topics. Me and CK, we go over a bunch of dick stuff. It's, a, it's always good watching him freak Squirt out around. over the questions. And uh, uh, yeah, he gets super awkward. He, I love it. I love making him sweat. Uh, and, Ew. <laughs> oh, you nasty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You like that, huh? Also, while you're at it, look us up on Patreon. We have a lot of bloopers up there. We're always messing up. We're dropping something, cat scratching in the background. We say something that we're not supposed to. It's all on the bloopers. It's it's a good time. It's a good listen. Check it out. You can also listen to the show on Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Deezer, iHeartRadio, Podchaser, and now on Pandora. A lovely yep. platform. Absolutely, really, really good. Such a kind and bold and very, they're an excellent app. Pandora, fantastic, beautiful, five stars. You should definitely listen to us on Pandora and everywhere else too. <laughs> and we're also on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube. Come check us out. We are in color. CK's head is so illuminating, so round and smooth. It's something you just have to see with your own two eyes. YouTube, come check us out. All under the SA Files. It's a good time, I promise you. And you can email me at bogusbird at thesfiles.com. You can email CK at crazycat at thesfiles.com. And Gaku, what about you? Any plugs? No, nothing to plugs. Chatterbait? Grinder? Nothing. No, nothing. No, no. Today? Chatterbait's shut down. Grinder never had one. Oh, okay. That's far away. You're thinking of. Got, oh, got, my bad. My bad. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just, yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Cool. Well, thank you for joining yeah. us. Thanks for joining me on the show. And yes, uh, sir. Thank you for having me on. Yep. We'll do it again soon. This is Bogus Bird signing out. It is not Cuckoo signing out. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. Bruh. So, would you say the same about? A Nightmare on Elm Street. Is that a Christmas movie? I mean, it has just about everything to do with Christmas. It has Christmas in the title. <laughs> I mean... You said Nightmare on Elm Street. Did I say Elm Street? <laughs> oh, my Freddy, The Freddy Krueger movie. <laughs>
Then you're like, it what? has everything to do with Christmas. I'm like, really? Do go on. <laughs> I mean, he's wearing green and red stripes. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm rewind that. We'll do that again. <laughs> All right. I didn't realize it said Elm Street. Whoops. Okay. okay. Well, <sighs> All right. So would you make the same argument about a nightmare on fuck? <laughs> nightmare on fuck. I didn't see that one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you fucking donkey.